Okay. Uh, mix, we're going to the <clears throat> portion na inimbento ko lang, no? It's got sagot mo, opinion mo. Okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> like the portion, it's, uh, you okay. know, it states, literally, everything is your opinion here, right? Okay. And we're gonna throw you three items that's heavily debated uh, nowadays and you can just okay. I'm so excited to okay. hear okay. your okay. opinion. Okay. Okay. <laughs> number one. Number one, ah. Should the LGBTQIA or any transgenders, right, who've had surgeries or whatnot, be able to join sports competitions despite the obvious advantages that they have in their biology? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Well, the obvious advantages, it's not, it's a case to case basis, eh? Parang, what? That's true. What's an obvious advantage? Because, parang just in the just in like the male species or the female species, it's such a it's already such a wide spectrum of different body types, different abilities. Um, right. Yeah. To argue nga parang you know trans people that do go through hormone replacement therapy, a lot of them kind of compromise their athletic abilities because mm, their body it, you're, right. you're going through technically right. a second yeah. puberty. When you're taking hormone replacement therapy, you're going through a second puberty. So you might not be able to do things that you were able to do before. And then you might be able to do things that you weren't able to do before. So, alam mo yun, parang, why does it matter that the person is, you know, going through a medical process of affirming their gender when everyone's body composition is different? Like, just from, just, just looking at Look at all of the pro athletes of a specific sport. Like just that one specific sport, look at all the pro athletes. They don't all look the same. They don't all have the same body types. They don't all have the same physical capabilities. So like what makes a trans person different aside from the gender thing or the sex thing? Good point. Good point. Okay. Pwede, pwede. <laughs> pwede yun, ha? Pwede. I mean, but, syempre, di ba sa iba sa akin, sabihin nila, Hindi naman nawawala yung broadness of your shoulder when you're swimming, di ba? But to be fair, hindi na naman broad na lahat ng ano. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> hindi naman magkakapantay yung balikat na lahat ng swimmers. Sabagay, That's also sabagay. true. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, alright, alright, alright. Number two. Okay, pag, uh, pag pupunta ka sa isang place where obviously sobrang conservative and hindi sila openly accepting of LGBTQIA, if you're an LGBTQIA, would you go there in that place dressed as an LGBTQIA or will you tone down a bit? What would be your um, opinion here? Well, it depends on what your purpose is. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. And I guess like parang your gender expression, like how flamboyant is it or not? Mm-hmm. Um. If your purpose is to, you know, turn some heads, get people's attention, why not? Um, but sometimes just for your own safety, especially if the place is oh, like conservative or like yeah. especially mm-hmm. like homophobic, maybe it's better to like not wear that crop top and not get hate crimed. Yeah. Um, you know, parang depends on your purpose and depends on what statement you're trying to make and depends on how strongly are you willing to stick to that statement? Like for for me, like I I'm I I'm an advocate. I like making political statements. But sometimes when I want to just go out and you know do my daily errands, live live my daily life, maybe right. I'd rather just wear like a jeans and a t-shirt and not draw attention to myself when I'm just you know trying to do a a day to day task. But then yeah. that's also it's 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 just the whole like conversation on why on I, I guess parang the safety of LGBTQIA people in general yeah. and like the policies that rally behind that safety right yeah do, do you think for those that uh, have a specific purpose diba? and then they chose to like wear more extravagant uh, outfits no do you think that's warranted even at the expense na the authorities might feel it as disrespectful. Well, what's disrespectful about um, expressing yourself? 
parang it's this is how the person wants to present themselves this is the way that right. they feel comfortable expressing themselves if it's not like you know if you're not wearing um a slur or like a symbol like an you know a racist symbol or something but if you're not like in actually super ano yun, um explicit or explicit na right. outfits like why why should that be a concern for other people why mm. should the way i look and decide to present myself be a concern for other people when we're all just trying to go about our lives right it's a question of expectation eh, whether Uh-oh. they expect exactly. you to Uh-oh. wear this but if right? you but if, if you not. go out in, if you go out wearing a swastika you deserve to get punched in the face like stuff like that <laughs> But if right, you're just yeah. like, you know, if you're just like a flamboyant femme presenting person in a in crop top and short shorts, like why does that matter to other people? Right. Right. Okay. Uh last question. Um para sa yo, para sa opinion mo lang, right? Who is easily easily the most progressive local politician out there and who's easily the worst or you know, oh my the God. least progressive <laughs> politician out there? I'm um, ready. You know, feel free to answer this. Feel free to avoid it. Mm-hmm. It's up to you. Most progressive, obviously, Risa Honteveros. I mean, re- really, the only person, the only opposition in the Senate, um, and yeah. also like the she has been the strongest supporter of the Soji Equality Bill forever. Like it's since exactly. it's, since its inception, R- Risa Honteveros, like for sure. Um, mm-hmm. Pinaka not dito progressive. Marami ka pagpipilian. Marami ka pagpipilian dito. <laughs> Pinaka not progressive. Ito doon na tayo sa top of the line. Doon <laughs> tayo wow. sa top of the line. Yung presidente natin ngayon na napakagaling, na napaka-present, na napaka-talino. Of course, let's go to like... Kasi, if, you're, if you are the head of a state and you're not progressive or you're not, alam mo yun, you're not actively being progressive, you're not actively trying to make it better for the lives of people of the life yeah. of the lives of your constituents then what is your right to be the head of that state because hmm. all you're doing is just compromising the quality of life of all of your constituents i say if other countries can do it diba i mean why not why can't we do it diba parang they hide behind that because we're a catholic country but i don't know we're i not. think you still can Right. We're not just I a mean, Catholic country. I mean, a, yeah, a big right. part of our um, population are the Muslims in Mindanao and like the rest of the Philippines. Oh, yeah. Mix for president. 